welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia and I am a holistic vocal coach, which means I help you to transform your voice and also your life. And I'm also a classical crossover uh, professional singer. And this one also was a request. So as you can see, I'm listening to you. So keep those suggestions in the comment section below. Let me know who you want me to react to next. I'm always love to hear new inspiring singers. And this one is Floor Johnson and actually Hank Port. <laughs> And they're gonna sing Phantom of the Opera. This is so, so, so cool. I can't wait to start reacting to that. So before we do, did you like, did you subscribe, did you hit the bell? You remember, it's a one, two, three step, completely free and shows me so much support. But not only that, I would love to have you part of our growing family. And if you're singers, this is the time to be part of my free seven day vocal challenge. All you gotta do is click the first link in the description bar below. So let's go, let's start reacting, right?
actually. That was really, really super cool. First of all, I have to tell you, I know this song in and out because I'm doing it uh, part of my Voce Nova, if you're not familiar, I'm part of this crossover duo and we recently were featured in America's Got Talent, so it's super, super exciting. And this is actually part of our repertoire, that's something that we do in a very similar way. I didn't even know about this, but we combine rock and opera with this specific song because Gilad is a professional rock singer and I'm doing more of the operatic side. So this is very interesting because it's very kind of like... Um, now we're not doing the same way because we have a completely new arrangement of that song and a different completely orchestration. Uh, but it's really, really cool to see that it really works, that operatic voice and rock sound are actually very similar. And one of the things that Gilad told me that was very interesting to hear that he started as a rock singer, but he found that it was very hard for him to sing in a healthier way and sustain those, you know, distortion sound and all this almost screaming sound and make it more supported and more healthy for himself because he knew if he can continue that way, his voice is gonna be done for 10, 15 years. So he went to school, learned how to sing as an op being an opera singer and he kind of fell in love with opera when he started to go deeper with his knowledge and his uh, vocal practice. But now that he sings both, it's so interesting because they're actually very, very similar. And people think like, oh, you can't sing rock if you're an opera singer. And it's not true. It's really learning how to play with your sound. And the more you're flexible with your voice, it's just endless. And honestly, you know, if anything, I'm teaching my, my students and, you know, I coming from a classical background, but let me tell you, this not only enhanced my ability to sing different genres, but also I was able to kind of, if you think about it, singing is singing opera. It's, it's I would want to say it's the highest form of singing because you really stretch in your abilities in terms of range, in terms of your projection. You're learning how to project your voice when you don't have a microphone and learning how to make the most out of your sound with least effort and singing three hours straight with orchestra, let me tell you, it's not easy. Forget about the style, forget about the languages and all those things that come to singing in opera. But I love this. This is so cool. I really honestly love that. The, at first it was a little creepy for me, but then when he started to sing the rock, I was like, I get it. Now I get it. That was awesome. That was beautiful. And he's a great rock singer because he has that classical trained sound into his rock sound. You can hear it under underneath it. And I really can't say enough first before you go to sing any type of genre, whatever that is, go and learn how to sing properly, right? How to sing in the most efficient, most healthy way. And after you have this strong bass, you can sing anything you want. And things change. Sometimes you start wanting to sing rock and you end up singing something completely different, but you feel limited because you know how to sing only in one way. Um, but that's something that I want to stress out. People think, oh, if you sing classical, you can't sing anything. That's not true. There's a difference, right? There's a lot of different teachers that sing and really make the cover sound too much, but a good vocal teacher will help you to sing in the correct, healthy way, right? And that that is gonna be the foundation for anything else. So honestly, she, I love how she started with a high sound, um, very light, very operatic. She's a very, she has strong presence, right? She's very tall. She's, she has wide shoulders. She, you can see she's, you know, uh, she's, she has some presence to her, um, to herself. And she started very light, very gentle. And, and I can hear the mixed voice and I can hear how she's like belting in the middle and I love that. And I wanted her to sing more of that actually, um, because there's, I feel there's more into her sound than this, you know? I feel she's not just an opera singer. I can feel she has so much more into her voice, uh, but I feel in that particular song, he was the rock singer, she was more the, the opera singer. Um, the only thing that was a little bit, 
um, you know, as a vocal teacher, we're here to learn how to sing better. Again, please, you know, it's very important to understand. We're here to learn from one another, okay? And we're here to get better in what we do. A lot of times when I see the jaw moving like this, this is something that needs to be addressed. Definitely needs to be addressed. I'm honestly, it doesn't affect her sound so much, but I wanna see if she can try sing without it. If that's, I, I wanna understand why she does that. Why she use um, kind of her jaw, part of her vocal production. Um, is it to release the sound? Is it to create a vibrato? What is the purpose of it? Because uh, her high notes are there. Obviously, everything sounds solid. Everything, from what I saw, she's very um, relaxed. Sometimes it has nothing to do. It's just the way it is. Sometimes it has to do with it. So that's something that, you know, as her vocal teacher, I would definitely make sure that this is not, some, that's something that she can choose and not something she feels it's just part of her vocal production. Um, everybody has their tics. Everybody use something to feel they're supporting their voice. Everybody does it. Everybody has it at the beginning until they really trust their voice. And it's a process, it's a journey. But when you do and you trust your voice, you don't need anything, literally anything. <laughs> not your jaw, not your hands, not your lip, nothing. It's just there. And it's very vulnerable sometimes just to stand there and sing. Uh, but it's really the highest form of singing is just to be super vulnerable and um, be exposed in that uh, way. Beautiful, beautiful singing. I wanna see what people say about this. So, so professional YouTuber says, confession, it was mostly me. I watched this about six million times. I love it. Uh, one one Lewis says, raise your hand if you're part of the Nightwish army watching floor and nailing every single song. Oh yeah, I need to, I need to react to more of her stuff. Such perfection, can recommend enough. Anyone reading this comment, if you have anything of this caliber in your pl playlist, please share. Okay, let's appreciate Mr. Port too. Chemistry between them is flawless. In the end, he pushed her to her best, magnificent piece of art. We love you, Florida, respect for Hank. I actually love this comment because it's very true. I can feel towards the end, he gave her permission to relax a little bit, to release a little bit. And, and that is something when I sing with Gilad, my partner, you really want to choose partners that enhance you. It's not a competition and it's about enhancing each other's voices. And I think that's uh, something that they did beautifully together. And it's not easy, but it's, it, when it does happen, it's, it's you know, one thing to remember. Uh, well, we all know Floor is amazing, no doubt, but we can also just acknowledge the fact that Hank brought his distortion in the game to match Nightwish metal style to performance. Yep, I love it. Awesome, awesome, guys. I mean, beautiful, 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 very inspiring, very good uh, performance and they did an awesome awesome job so thank you so much for watching if you like this video if you like this reaction go ahead and hit the like and subscribe to get more videos like this and if you want to sing like your best self go ahead and check my free seven day vocal challenge all you got to do is press the first link in the description bar below and it'll take you to my website and with that guys i'm gonna leave you thank you so much for watching i love you keep singing keep dreaming keep distorting keep rocking it on and I'll see you in our next video. Bye!